Hey, welcome to Android University. My name is Hobart, and today I wanted to show you something that I just discovered today, or actually tried for the first time today, uh, a swipe keyboard, a swipe light keyboard. Um, I was kind of just going around in the Google Play Store, and I found this one by touching and typing in swipe. I found Touch Pal Keyboard. It was the first choice. It had the most stars. So uh, let's install Touch Pal Keyboard. It's free. So we'll install it. Oop, there it goes. All right, so uh, let's see here. I wonder if it's going to ask. I know it does a tutorial as soon as I click on something for the first time. No, I'm going to have to go into the application here. So you go into the application, and it's going to say, it's going to give you steps on how to set this thing up. First thing, you're going to have to enable the TouchPal keyboard in your input method. So TouchPal keyboard is selected. Uh, before, I was using the Jelly Bean keyboard. Activate TouchPal keyboard. Right now, I'm on the Jelly Bean keyboard. I need to activate it to the TouchPal keyboard. Number three, touch or set up TouchPal keyboard. These are the settings. General settings, layout. Uh, you can set the layout. Spell check. How about that, just in case, because I like that. Uh, correct mistyping, yep. Languages, of course, English first, but they have Chinese and Arabic and Dutch and French and German and Italian. Uh, and much more. Now, number four, done. Congratulations, TouchPal keyboard has been activated. You hit done, and that's all. That's how you install the TouchPal keyboard. Now, uh, how does it work? Well, if you've never used Swipe before, uh, basically you want to slide your finger over the different letters to complete your word without letting go and without stopping, and the phone or the keyboard should recognize what you're typing. So let's go to uh, Google Chrome here. Welcome to TouchPal Keyboard. Do you want the tutorial? No, thank you. I'm going to show you here. All right, so if you want to type in something, this is how Swipe works. Uh, I was just typing this before, how to paint a house. How to paint a house. Just like that. It's not that hard. Uh, it, 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 I have fat fingers, so sometimes I mess up words and I have to go back and fix them and stuff, so this kind of helps me. Um, so let's type something else here. How about abbreviate? A, B, B, R, E, V, I, A, T, E. Abbreviate. And there it is. Abbreviate. It's on the screen. So it gets it right most of the time. If not, you see here it's got um, some help over here. Abbreviated, alleviate, um, and a whole bunch of other words just in case it messed up. You can always hit the back button, but I got it right this time. So, what else can we write? Um, incorporate. I N C O R P O R A T E. Incorporate. And there it is. It's got it on the keyboard. So, it makes it really easy if you're trying to uh, type without getting any of those. Um, you know, mess ups from having fat fingers like me, uh, and I know people that can really blaze on this and can their fingers like back and forth, and they're typing paragraphs. So I just figured that I would uh, give it a try here and see. I was typing, uh, talking to my mom a little bit earlier about it. Um, let's see if I wanted to say hello, mom. Oh, it said moon, but see, it's got mom right there, so I can just literally type in, oops, mom. And it got it. Hello, Mom. How are you? See how easy it is? It makes it much easier to just drag your fingers across it instead of typing in like H E L L O M O M. And see, mock. I typed in mock because my finger is fat. So it actually makes it a lot easier to have the computer help you. Um, that's pretty much it. That's how you use a swipe keyboard. You got your numbers here, but you can also slide up to get a number on your letters that have numbers and slide down to get symbols. All right, up to get numbers, down to get symbols. If you need the tutorial, there's a button on there that will show you how to, you know, do certain things on there, but it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, let's see, this here gets the keyboard to go away. Uh, this is word prediction on and off. Word prediction is off. Word prediction is on. This will actually change your languages here. This little button down in the corner. 
Um, let's see here. That's going to give you your capital letters. It's pretty much like a regular keyboard, except for you can slide your fingers across it and write Apple sucks. Oops, I didn't write that right. S U C K S. There, Apple sucks. <laughs> it is the TouchPal keyboard. You can find it, like I said, in the Play Store right there. Install it, enable it, and uh, use it. See what you think. I've never tried swipe until today. It is not the official swipe, but it's the action uh, called swipe and the TouchPal keyboard. Pretty good. It's free. Check out some of my other videos that are on the uh, Android University YouTube page. Just type it in, all one word, Android University. And there you're going to find all my app reviews on the Samsung Galaxy S3 on Verizon or the uh, Droid X. And, of course, some how-tos on some ROMing and flashing as well. So that's it for today. My name is Hobart, the Android University. Have a great day. See ya.